Welcome back to another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial with fire bars or little fireballs in one line which are rotating well and then the whole thing is rotating as well. So maybe you have seen that in well basically all Mario games where you are having some platforming so you will see those fire bars or columns or whatever you want to call them but officially they are called fire bars didn't actually know that so this is the official name yay and yeah we're gonna reproduce that in game maker studio or basically game maker if you like what you're seeing consider subscribing if you already haven't and share and like and comment if you like this kind of content that would be sweet what do we want to have? So basically we are just having one little object, call it whatever you like, give it this little block, of course then draw yourself, some draw self, here we go. What do we want to have? Well, we want to draw, first of all, our fireball, which is this guy here, so SPR fireball, then sub image X and Y position, then scaling, yeah, 1-1. One, one. And then we need a rotation and the rotation I'll store in a little variable which we first of all of course need to initialize in our create event so a spin angle put that in here and then well color c white yeah no problem alpha one so basically this is the standard so these are the default values no problem and then well we want to change this value so we can actually spin around and therefore we just update it by let's say eight and then once we start it, we will draw our, well, fire sprite and it is rotating and of course in the background you are having this block as a marker. Easy, easy stuff. So the next thing is because we just don't want to have one fireball, we want to have a lot and therefore we are putting in a second variable and then we are pretty much done with the variables in our create event. Fireballs, how much do we want to have? Let's go for 7 because why not? And here, what do we want to do? We just loop through a loop. So a for loop is that and we do that 7 times. So 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on and so on. And then, well, based on the amount of fireballs. So here you can basically just give a different input on fireballs and then, well, you are having a different outcome. So the next thing is because well we are having our fireball here and this thing is already spinning around like crazy but we need to have a few extra positions which are the second one, the third one, the fourth and so on and so on. How can we do that? Quite easy. We are adding uh, two values which are called var extra and, um, and y extra and we just add them here to our X and Y position and we want to get those extra points and therefore we go for length dear X and length dear Y and here we need to have two input parameters the length and then we can of course use our I because well this is always a different value and times let's say for example the width and the height of our little fireball which is 8 pixel by 8 pixels. And now we are having the length and then we go for direction. Let's give it the direction. I kind of misuse the direction uh, <laughs> variable because you use it, let's say for movement, but I just abuse it here as this thing. So because why not? And now, for example, once we started, you will see that we are pretty much finished. Four minutes or almost finished, as you can see here, bam it is okay of course if you use direction for movement maybe you shouldn't be using it then make a third variable call it angle whatever you like and then because we want to spin around we just update that direction as well because it, you have a speed of zero it is not moving so we are safe let's give it a smaller value and bam we are pretty much done four and a half minutes sweet so as you can see this works so basically here if you want to change the speed of the the bigger rotation and the speed of the mini rotation of those fireballs well just change those values in your step event and if you're just thinking okay so why is this one having more ones well i just put in the creation code 
more fireballs so you can put in as many fireballs as you like that was pretty much it have a good one one up indie